Hey guys, and welcome back. I haven't made any videos for a little while, actually. Um, I'm a fisherman, and in the summer I'm so busy fishing that I just don't have any opportunities to uh, make videos. Or I have been taking a few photos randomly here and there, and I might even stick a couple up while I'm talking to you. But today I've um, just driven two hours up, up the motorway to a spot which I've been spotting from the window of the car for two years now. Um, always catches my eye and I always think oh one day I'll go back there and try and take a photo of it. Um, the problem is it wasn't easy to find. So what I did was last time I came up the motorway I just had my viewfinder app and as he went past I took a photo just of the inside of the car but then that created a, a geotag. Then I looked at the geotag when I got home and then started hunting around, put a pin on the map, followed the pin uh, to the spot. Yeah, and I've got my large format camera and my Hasselblad with me. Yeah, but we'll see what we find. See if I found it. I just love those fallen trees, the sort of contrast between the, the dead trees that have fallen or been felled and then the, uh, the healthy ones behind. Well, I always like to try and throw one comedy moment into the film. Uh, I've already cracked this one. I just um, dropped my reading glasses <laughs> and then trod on them. So uh, this is me. New tripod and a dark clock. So the light is just constantly changing as the clouds pass over. Uh, when, when it diffuses behind the clouds, all this sort of interest in the bark and the contrast leaves. And then when the sun comes out, it's uh, almost too high contrast. So I've struggled for a composition and I've just gone for this one here very very simple just square onto the trees just showing up the roots and then obviously it's chopping off the top of the trees on the 150 mil lens very basic um, there are a few other shots I can try in a minute but I'm a bit I sometimes get a bit overwhelmed by these cluttered scenes uh, it would be amazing if someone could move all these dead trees out of the foreground, I could get an amazing photo. But I'm having to kind of negotiate these dead trees, which interrupt the standing trees. Yeah, and the light keeps changing every second. Well, I'm kind of done for really. The light, the cloud bank is just building all the time. So I'm just going to take what I can get now. This is HP5 F22, uh, half a second is it? I'll check. Um, I've just set this one up here, just pointing up at the trees, trying to make as minimal an image from as cluttered an environment as I can. Um, I want to get some drama out of the photo, so I'm going to stick an orange filter on anyway, just to sort of boost it a little bit. I'm not into um, low contrast images. I'm not, not today, I'm not anywhere. Okay, so I've kind of run out of patience really. The light just isn't, isn't happening for me. So let's just double check that, 15, get that up there. Shadows, one stop below, middle gray. That's F32, half a second, HP5, orange filter, and a grad. And we'll move. So this last one has been an absolute game and a half. It's changing light, whoa, it's unstable ground. So we've got F45, half a second I think it is. All ready to go. HP5 orange filter. And I also had to put a grad in from the side here to try and protect the, um, the highlights on the edge of the trees. Um, well, 
We'll see. Right, let's move on, I think. I have another spot in mind. This must have taken me an hour. <laughs> an hour to take one photo. Okay, so this is my final destination for the day. The world famous Nearly Home Trees, as they're called. They're actually on the map as the Nearly Home Trees, which amazed me. I thought that was kind of a Cornish local nickname for them, but they're actually on the map as the Nearly Home Trees. I got here, amazing light on the way here. I might have missed the best of it. That seems to be the way the day's gone. Um, and then I got here and there's a farmer's um, fence with private keep out. And I thought, well, after two hours of driving, I'm not going to take any notes of that. What harm am I doing? There's no cattle in the field or anything. So, uh, to hell with it. I'm here. I've got a few issues here. Um, I really could use a wider lens. If I walk further down the hill, then I start to lose some of the uh, foot of the trees. So I'm just gonna have to stick with what I've got here. Um, next time I come back, I'll bring the Hasselblad. I've got a uh, much wider lens on that camera. Uh, and the light's a bit kind of up and down, but we'll give it a shot. And I'm kind of whispering also in case there's a farmer on the other side of that fence. Let's go try something a bit different. Uh, just that, the corner of the trees, just look, and lots of uh, negative space to the uh, left of the trees. So not all the trees. Okay, so that's the last one done. That was uh, HP5 F22, 15th of a second. Just highlight, uh, meet it for the highlights. Just let everything else go black. I don't mind, I don't care. It's the end of the day. Um, hasn't been the best day, truthfully. I'm out of practice. I haven't used this camera for ages. And um, I think it all started going wrong when I trod on my uh, glasses. And the light's just been teasing me all day. So it's quarter past seven, I'll be home at nine. Cheers. Yeah.